Let's talk about the AFC Championship, the NFC Championship, and who I think is going to win the Super Bowl. This is going to be our official pick for the Super Bowl using odds. I'm going to do it in one way, two ways. I'm going to choose one that is a really high, two like really high odd ones, and I'm going to choose one, two like I actually you know my beliefs what I actually think happens. So let's go to DraftKings and see the odds here. And we're going to go through what I think are going to be the Super Bowl winners and AFC, NFC championship representatives. So sometimes you got to do a little bit of searching here. F futures. Here we go. We're going to start off with conference winner. And we're going to start off with the NFC. Remember, I'm going to pick one high value team. A team that is lower odds and one that I actually like really believe in. So let's kind of go through this. The 49ers are the favorite. They've made the Super Bowl. They've had a lot of problems. The Detroit Lions, it's Detroit. Can I see Detroit in the Super Bowl? The Eagles, the Cowboys, Packers, Falcons, Rams, Bears. You, you see these teams. But if we're going to go with a team, we're going to start off one of them as our high, like, number team to make the Super Bowl. And a high number team to make the Super Bowl to me, drum roll, please. I hate to say it, in our division, the LA Rams. I don't think this is like my higher value team. They have Matt Stafford. They have Sean McVay. I would love to pick the Seahawks here. I'm wearing a Seahawks hat, as you see. But my problem with picking the Seahawks to do this is I think the Seahawks are a year or two away. They don't have Matt Stafford, who's won a Super Bowl. They don't have Sean McVay, who's won a Super Bowl. The problem is they lost Aaron Donald. Now, my actual pick to make the Super Bowl is the Green Bay Packers at plus 750. I think they take that leap this year. Matt LaFleur has literally, like, been so close so many times with Aaron Rodgers. How ironic would it be if he made it with Jordan Love first? All right, to the AFC. Once again, a high-value team and a low-value team. My high-value team, a team that I think could actually make a run to the Super Bowl, and a team that is going to be electric, is going to be fun. I'm, I'm actually going it, to... It's going to sound crazy. They took a step back last year. Nobody's talking about them. The Jacksonville Jaguars at plus 2,200. Huge value here. Trevor Lawrence, I think, is going to actually step up. And he, when they were eight and three before he got hurt last year, eight and three. Then he got hurt. Season went quickly downhill. Give me the Jaguars at plus 2,200. Now, the team I actually think is going to be the representative of the Super Bowl, the Baltimore Ravens at plus 550. I think the Ravens are finally going to get over that hump. Three-peating in the NFL is damn hard. And I just don't think the Chiefs are going to be able to three-peat. It just seems ridiculous that a team can three-peat, and it is ridiculous. So give me the Ravens at plus 550. Now, Super Bowl champion. My Super Bowl champion pick is the Baltimore Ravens at plus 1,000. I think Lamar Jackson gets it done this year. It reminds me a lot of Nikola Jokic. Won multiple MVPs. Failed in the playoffs. Didn't want to give him another MVP, even though he deserved the third one. And I think Lamar is going to put up numbers to deserve the third one. They brought in Derrick Henry. And I think the Ravens are going to hoist the Super Bowl trophy at the end of the season versus the Green Bay Packers. So that's my Super Bowl pick. Those are our odds. Do with them what you want, but just want to put those out there for you guys. Thank you for watching. This is the Sports on Tap betting show. Brought